I know you guys have been waiting for a long time to know the truth, and it's going to be quite disappointing, but here it is. He spit on her and called her a C-word, constantly acted like she was a sexual object, financially took advantage of her, threatened to kill her if she acted out of line, wouldn't allow her to hang out with friends or do anything that he wasn't involved in. At one point, he wouldn't even let her tag her sister in pictures because he didn't want her to get any of the followers. Forced her to lie about her car. He wouldn't allow her to go to parties with him because he wouldn't get hit on as much. Told her that the dogs do more than her and nothing she did was right. Called her worthless and put every problem of his onto her. Here's a part two to my last video. Um, he made her cry her freaking eyes out at her birthday. Wouldn't even come to her birthday party because he, I don't know, he's too good or whatever. And he forgot her birthday the first time. He forced her, her to like not be able to hang out with the family and really drove like a knife in between her relationship with her parents and her siblings. He has been going out and has a separate Instagram, so he hasn't been sad like he said he's been. He hasn't even said sorry, but he has been with a bunch of other girls. And personally, to me, he forced her to ditch me on my birthday, so that was real sweet. And I know this may come to a shock to most of y'all, but I'm sorry. And this is where I realized, like, are they, should they be together? This doesn't seem like a great relationship. The whole time, they were fighting. And it wasn't ever Gabrielle. It was always Jack just yelling at her for some stupid reason that he shouldn't be mad about. It was always Gabrielle's fault. And that's the main thing in the relationship. Everything was Gabrielle's fault. She's like the nicest, sweetest person ever. Like everyone I know likes Gabrielle. My whole family loves Gabrielle. And Jack just treated her like crap. And then this is what really, really got to me. We get to dinner and we went to like a nice place, like $15, $20 per person type of place. It was like hibachi where they cook in front of you. And Jack was expecting Gabrielle to pay and he was like, who pays in your relationship? And I was like, well, I'm the one who makes the money and I don't want Dallin to get a job because he helps me with my videos all the time. So typically I pay for us, not always, but most of the time. And then Jack was just like arguing with that. Like he was like, no, that doesn't make sense. Like you, you need to take turns, which I totally agree with. But this is like a different situation because Jack was doing the same thing that me and Dallin were doing. Like we were always filming together. And so it was kind of like our money and it was our YouTube channel, channel almost, even though it still was like mine. Well, Jack was doing that same thing, except he wasn't letting Gabrielle reap the financial benefit. He was expecting her to pay when they went out, but she didn't have a job. Gabrielle's job was to help Jack with his YouTube channel, but then she has to pay for dinner with what money? You know, like, I don't know, that just really made me mad because he just, he was just getting mad at her and then expecting her to do all this stuff and it just was a mess. But anyway, pretty much every time I hung out with him after that, it was the same thing, like just arguing, him expecting so much of her for no reason and it was always her fault. So I'll get into this later, but we went on a trip to the Dominican Republic together and we stayed in these tree houses and um, my brother was in charge of it and he put our tree houses next to each other since we were friends. And all we ever heard was Jack yelling at Gabrielle like me and Dal would be like this is kind of awkward like we just like hear everything he was always just yelling at her getting mad at her you didn't do the thumbnail right you need to do this for a video this that whatever and I have so much more that goes Jack is a businessman he is a very good businessman but that's all YouTube is to him and that's all this has ever been to him on numerous occasions literally every time I've hung out with Jack oh I'm just milking YouTube like I 
I only post it if it's going to get views. Like, I won't post something unless I know it's going to make me money. I'm just going to do it until everyone hates me or my YouTube channel dies. And then I'm going to quit. Like, I don't really care. I'm just trying to make as much money as I could. And it always made me feel so awkward because I do YouTube because I love doing YouTube. It's my passion. I love every person who watches my video. And the fact that it's my job is amazing. And so he just made me feel so awkward that I actually liked doing YouTube because he was like, oh, I just, I just do it for the money. Like, I don't even care about my fans like the amount of times I heard him talk about that maybe he was just trying to act cool but like the fact that he would even like say that just really bugs me and he still proves this point to this day like it has not changed he has posted what five videos about him and Gabrielle breaking up all with different clickbaity titles the thumbnail is edited to look dramatic the lighting in the videos is dramatic I don't know if he's even real crying he's probably fake crying I know he doesn't give two craps about him and Gabrielle breaking up I just don't understand how he can manipulate people so much and no one no one notices because he's a very good manipulator and he's a very good businessman but that's not necessarily a good thing um, so that gets into like not only has he been like manipulating Gabrielle their entire relationship saying everything was always her fault if he had a bad day it's her fault if a video did bad it's her fault oh but you also got to like pay for everything here's another point Gabrielle bought her car you know the video where like Jack's like surprising my girlfriend with her dream car no Gabrielle an amazing woman bought this car for herself he literally manipulated her into saying that Jack bought this car for me he's the best boyfriend but he did not buy it for her and he would always use the excuse that like oh when we get married it's gonna be our money anyway like it'll all be ours but guess what you didn't get married you broke up because you treated her like crap and that's just like the whole thing about the relationship is he was always holding something over her head whatever it was like it was always oh well when we get married it'll all work out or after college or oh well I was gonna surprise you like next week with this big thing so don't get mad at me everything was just I will fix it later basically um, he's he just manipulated her like that's the main point I'm trying to get across he manipulated her and he manipulated all of you into believing all these lies and if you don't believe me like literally go watch their videos with this new open mind and think do you think this looks like a good relationship because I've watched so many of their videos and all he does is yell at her like if she has the camera hidden he'll literally like grab her and be like Gabrielle and like just yell at her like really mean until he realizes it's a video and then he acts nice so like you tell me if that's a good relationship. I don't even know why he included those things in their videos because it so, it portrays how bad their relationship was and how toxic it was and he still posted it anyway, which is really weird. Um, and then that's on camera. So imagine how bad it is off camera. I don't even wanna imagine, I don't wanna be there. And Gabrielle was there and that, it just breaks my heart. Um, I'm getting so mad just thinking about this. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting off track. Along with just fighting her in videos, she was literally just a sexual object. That's all he e she ever was to him. Do you ever hear him talk about how much he loves her personality? Or maybe he does, but just to cover up the fact that he loves her for her body and she's good clickbait. Like all the thumbnails are her butt or something like that where people will click on it to sexualize her. But like the fact that Jack was constantly pointing out like her body parts and just sexualizing her 24 seven in his videos, literally it makes me so mad. Like can you have respect for your girlfriend to talk nicely about her to millions of people who are watching your videos? No, you're just gonna sexualize her. Oh look, her butt looks good today. Ooh, let me take you home. Let me take you to the bedroom. Like after this, you know what we're doing? That's all he ever talked about was dirty jokes, dirty jokes, dirty jokes. And she's just sitting there like, <laughs> So the truth is that I don't think Jack would to get into their heads and make them believe that they're not good enough. And in my entire life, I've had that problem of not ever thinking that I could be good enough or that I deserve to be good enough or that I deserve to be happy. And sometimes make, people can make you think that way. Because the things they say. People in your life who mean a lot to you can say those things. And I'm saying anyone could say anything to you. You will be okay eventually. That you will meet someone who truly loves you for you. You will meet someone who doesn't believe that you're just a pretty face. Someone that thinks that you are actually worth something.
You will find that eventually. And I'm sorry you went through a heartbreak because you're